This is called Alabama white camellia. Now, my beloved state of Alabama is uh, so special to me. No matter where I'm living, I'm always a little redneck from Troy, Alabama. And it's like when I did the playing cards in Paris in 1978 or 9, and I was looking for backs to go on these playing cards, or well, that was the Alabama art playing cards, I used this as the back of a card. But I did the piece, first of all, I did an Alabama white camellia and an Alabama red camellia. And I've included, again, the dogwood, pecans, uh, the fishing lure, cotton. This was my grandmother's lace from her wedding dress that surrounds it. And she would crochet these placemats because after her children left her house on Murphy Street, who was named after my great-grandmother, Ida Murphy, the, uh, she turned her house into a boarding house for college students to live there and for her buddies and cousins and all of her sisters and brother to eat there. And my grandfather said, it's Nall's hash house. And she said, Fred, don't say that. It's not. These are my friends. He said, you've got a lot of friends. You've got three, three tables for 12 people, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anyway, she would crochet these placemats sitting on the front porch. Some of the people would uh, shell peas, and she would crochet, and they would all gossip. And that's how I grew up, listening to the stories about Truman Capote, whose aunt lived down the street, and everybody else in the neighborhood. I just knew, you know, you've really found out a lot about people and where they were and how, how, how tall the, the Baptist church steeple was and how tall the Methodist church steeple was and then the Baptists would raise theirs and then the Methodists, I guess they were trying to get closer to God. And so these, the, the, the sticks and the branches are the river systems in Alabama. And here you have Mobile. And uh, this is before I moved to Fairhope, where I would have certainly put something in Fairhope. But you have Birmingham as the cotton here, Huntsville cotton area as well. You know, each place has, uh, each town has a, a place. And Troy and Montgomery are kind of grouped together. Because in living in Troy and going to Montgomery was like going to the big city. I mean, that was, you were really going somewhere, I think riding on the escalator at Normandale's Mall was the biggest thing to do in, in Troy, Alabama, or in Montgomery. You go to Montgomery, you had to do that as a kid. It was just up and down, up and down all day long. So that is the Alabama white camellia. And this is a pod from a wisteria that I remember my uh, great uncle, uh, Big Bubba Trotman, had a house next to another house on College Street, and there was a wisteria trellis in the back, a little arcade, you walk back there, and uh, I would go back there and pick these things off and play with them. They were nice toys. You didn't have to go to the store and buy these you know, expensive little plastic building block things and all that stuff. You could just find anything out and play with that.